from one bald eagle nest in New Jersey in the 1980s. We have over 250 nests now. This is an aging transmission line and it was time for an upgrade. A bald eagle had been nesting on this tower for approximately six years prior to the project, so we were well aware of that constraint. We sat down very early on in the planning process, years in advance of construction, with U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, NJDEP Fish and Wildlife. We developed a plan to remove the nest outside of the breeding season, uh, which is a short window. It's only from July 31st to December 31st, so we only had a, a few months. We placed it on a uh, temporary platform and we, we put it in a sea box container for storage, the nest intact. We completed the work that we needed to do, so we removed the entire tower and built the whole new tower. We took the bald eagle nest out of storage and we placed it on a crane and they lifted it up to the monopole the nest was placed uh, the end of December, and at first uh, we didn't see any signs of the eagles, no activity, and we started to get worried. By early February, uh, the bald eagle pair had come to the tower. They, they were checking out the nest platform. To our surprise, uh, they did nest on the structure that year. They hatched uh, two eggs that successfully fledged. It was the first successful nest on an eagle platform in New Jersey. I'm inspired by the work that I do now because not only do I get to help people and the public with keeping the lights on, making sure they have electricity for the things they need uh, in their lives, but also protecting the environment where we upgrade our projects and infrastructure because uh, we're also going through neighborhoods of uh, wildlife all over the state of New Jersey as well.